When we promise something, we deliver. And look what we have delivered here on set. Uh, a legend, mm. Alessandro Del Piero. Yes. Thank you very Juventus much. Juventus legend, Azuri legend joining us uh, uh -huh. on set. Uh, uh, maybe some people don't realize, Alessandro, ever since you retired in 2014, you've lived right here in L.A. Tell us, tell us a little bit about your life in L.A. and what, well, what you've I, done. I, after the two years in Sydney, I decided to come here. You know, mm -hmm. The weather is a big attraction in yes. Los Angeles yes. and uh, other thousand other things. So... I decided to move here with my kids, my family. We are here. We are quite happy. Four years ago, mm -hmm. it happened. So yeah, it's and you, and you have good. a rest, you have a restaurant uh -huh. in uh, West a, Hollywood, yeah, num Italian, number ten. Bravo, and number ten in West Hollywood. Yeah. Is, uh, can we do a promotion? Yes, yes. Okay. sure. Uh, we, we, you, can admit, you can invite us. <laughs> yes, if you invite right? us. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the group. Hope so we have <laughs> <laughs> these guys have very tight dietary restrictions. I don't yeah, know they, if they, uh, there's anything on the menu. They look perfect. I mean, they already diet, but they have a really good food and healthy. So yes, yeah. Happy to have you guys. Ah. Uh, well, let's talk a little football, uh, Alessandro, before we eat at your restaurant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they invited me. Yes. <laughs> just, just confirming that. Uh, Juventus at the moment. I'd love to get, we'd love to get your thoughts on what you think of uh, Juventus under Mauricio Sarri right now. Uh, Juventus, it's, it's quite simple. I mean, already, it's already years that they have, they build a team that they need to think about tomorrow. Mm. What I mean is uh, they have program well set down every early in the year. They make the right adjustment every year. And this has happened because Italian league lately wasn't great like before. So that it means that you can even make some mistakes sometimes, mm. that you still win the league. Mm. But by far, they have the best, the best team. Mm. It's not only the result that say that, you know, the, the number of the players, number of the players and quality of the players mm. are quite mm. more than the other teams. Uh, this year, only Inter mm. can stay at the same level for the league, for the Italian league. Uh, even if there are some teams like Lazio, like we saw lately, they can, can beat Juve, of course. But the focus is Champions League, definitely. Mm. They, they are, we are missing Champions League, you know, part of the Juventus family. Uh, they are missing Champions League for, for a while now, and uh, this is the, the, the main focus. All the things that they are doing is for that reason. And meanwhile, you know, of course, stay on the top of the league. Yeah. And uh, they have uh, 22 amazing players. Even if there's some three, four injuries, they can replace easily on a high level. And this is uh, what we, we see. They have a couple of problems in the beginning of the season, during, during the season, but then they come back on top. Mm. It's, it's sometimes is enough for them to play 20, 30 minutes quite well mm. to make the result safe. Uh, that's all. Mm. You don't think Lazio have enough to make this a three-horse race? Not till the end. Mm. I think they are, they are doing amazing work, not only this year, also the past years. Uh, but in order to reach that level, you need to do something really, really special. Unless you create inside the club, inside the team, that special things that, you know, give you extra energy. Mm. If we're talking about quality of the players, yes. One game they can win against everyone. Mm. They won the Super Cup yeah. now. So, but uh, all league, 10 months, you know, you go through injuries, market changing, club needs money sometimes, you don't find what you want. And this is when happen these kind of things, you know, start problems inside the club and uh, that you need to solve, by the way. But meanwhile, you need to play. Mm. And it's... The two things sometimes doesn't, doesn't match. But they're in great shape. I don't think enough to win the title, honestly. Mm. Mm. When we talk Juventus, and it's, it's easy to see how successful they have been, and when we evaluate their performances this year, and even though they've only lost once the whole season in all competitions, you still expect more in terms yeah. of the quality of play because of the quality of players that you just mentioned. Is that something to be worried about if you're a Juventus fan? No, this is uh, it's, it's such a good point. And uh, plus, I want to add, mm. plus what happened last summer, the change between Allegri and Sarri mm. was in that direction, you know, make the team play much better than before mm -hmm. because they were come up, kind of complaining, you know, we don't play well, we defend only, we, have, uh, we won 1-0, we want a club that win 5-6-0. But mm. there's 
couple of facts very important. First of all, Italian league is, is really tough. Mm. Even if you are a lower club, you don't lose games 6, 7, 8, 0, like happened in Spain or mm. in England sometimes. Defensively, we're still strong as a structure, tactically, and as a single player. So that's one of the reasons why Ronaldo is scoring even less than before mm -hmm. sometimes. So, and the second one is it's not easy when you play every three games, mm. have time to training. Mm. You need train. You need to be trained in some way to find what you want. Mm. The idea of Sarri is a wonderful idea that he showed with Napoli for three years. Napoli played probably the best football ever in Europe, mm. but he chose mm. three years ago the players. And uh, sometimes it doesn't match with the club. Mm. So on the high level, priority is win. Mm. How? I don't want to say it's, a, it's an option, but it's the way through. Is it, is it not all about the Champions League this yeah. season, Alessandra, for Juventus? Uh, they last won it with you, 1996. It's been a long time. Are, are they better equipped to do that this year under Sarri? Yes and no, mm. because even the other years, they have an incredible player. The one that they lost against Barcelona was yep. probably the one that, as a team, as a single player, as a mentality. Mentality, I don't mean what is the Juventus mentality, they're still the same. Win, 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 doesn't matter. You win a game, you celebrate five minutes, go back yeah. to think how to win the next one. But I'm, I'm talking about the energy and the chemistry that happened inside the team. Mm. Only with that special one, you can win the Champions League. Because if you see, Juve have the chance to win the Champions League, yes. Barcelona, mm. yes. Real Madrid, yes. Mm. Paris Saint-Germain, a lot of clubs. Seven, eight at least, they can do it. And then show up Tottenham like last year and then reach the final, almost win the Champions League. That mm. we, let me be honest, we didn't consider it mm. the five, five, the mm. top five teams last year, you mm. know, at the beginning of the season. Mm. Because the season changed. Now there is a big, big moment. The market and what happened now is another big moment. Look mm. at the Barcelona. Barcelona changed the coach. Mm. It's a big, big decision. I mean, you, you change a lot, even mm. if you have a great players. Listen, Juventus fighting on, on so many different fronts and now a genuine title challenge from Inter Milan. What do you make of, of Inter under Antonio Conte and, and the changes that he's made to that squad to make them competitive? Well, he changed a lot. Mm. First of all, he has the support of, of the club. This is very important. The connection, the connection between club and, and coach is really, really important, especially in Italy. And Inter had Marotta before, was a Juve with Conte, so they can work together in some things. And then he has a really strong mentality, really strict tactically, really, really strict. If you see Inter, they, they, they analyze every game very well before. I, uh, he coached me one year, so mm. I know exactly what he's going to do. It's really tough. You're training a lot. You're training for a lot of time. You watch a lot of videotape. It's, it's a big, big preparation. So that is a, is a change. And uh, what happened in Chelsea with him that came back after, you know, he joined Chelsea the seventh place, he won the league. It happened in Juve before. Mm. And this is what you want to do in, at Inter as well. If the players and the club follow him, this is what can happen. Now, can win for a former title. former teammate of yours, Antonio yeah. Conte, and then he's coaching you. Did you enjoy playing for Antonio Conte? <laughs> 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 uh, that year, I mean, I know the mentality. Even when he was playing, he was really yeah. strong and straight. But yeah, I enjoy a lot. Yes, mm. even if that year was the last one for me at Juve, it was very weird for different reasons, mm. not Conte. But uh, yeah, I enjoy. Mm. <laughs> but you run a lot. I run a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why it was in last year. <laughs> well, you need to run a lot and you need to run well. Mm -hmm. And he makes the combination of two. When, so. mm. when you look at a player like Cristiano Ronaldo now at Juventus, right, and you play with great players in your time, do you think to yourself, Man, I could have done something with this guy playing right next to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's very special. I mean, he, mm. what he reached in his career and what he's still doing now is something really special. Mm. And uh, he has a really strong mentality. Mm. This is, from my point of view, the, the biggest quality that he has mm -hmm. because he, he has plans in his mind, focus only in football, to be succeed, to be the number one. Mm. And this is what is going on every day for him. 
you didn't before going to bed, you know? Mm -hmm. You can sometimes you do something else. But <laughs> yeah. like I mean, well, I don't know what you're talking about. All the time. <laughs> I mean, uh, he would do it as well. Of go, course, to the, but go to the restaurant. Yeah, like go, go, yeah. To the yeah, yeah. go to the restaurant. Number no, ten, I, West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I stay home and I and I prepare myself. It's really really well organized and it's amazing. Yes, definitely. Mm. Talking of numbers, Alessandro, uh, Alessandro uh, 478 Serie A appearances for Juventus, which was a record until. Gigi Buffon mm. broke that record just mm. uh, just uh, a few short weeks ago. Gigi Did Buffon. you? Uh, uh, no question. I just wanted. Yeah, to say, I, just wanted to, I, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> did you carry on? Did you? No, did you, did you uh, were you surprised he went back to Juve? Uh, yeah. Did you? You were surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised. Even if I know that he wants it, but mm. you know, it's a it's a big return. Mm. Created a lot of rumors, some mm. critics as well. But mm. it's a big it's a big reunion, and uh, I think everybody. Are happy about that, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it kind of surprised see Buffon in the bench. Mm -hmm. That's his mm -hmm. point, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. because he's still an amazing shape. Mm -hmm. He's doing great, but mm -hmm. if, if you think about Juve, you think about Buffon on the on the field. Mm -hmm. And now you see on the bench, right. you say, oh, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, a reason, match, there's a reason why he's on the bench, Alessandro. <laughs> yeah, of course, there's a reason. And, uh, <laughs> Leave Gigi alone. <laughs> and when he, Don't mess with him. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of a player who was on the bench uh, for the last few games, Matthias Zilic, who was a, mm. a, a, a tremendous investment by Juventus, and there is a, a lot of hope and expectation on Zilic. He goes to the bench, then there is the injury to Demiral. He's now back on the field. What do you make of his performance so far with Juventus? You would defend him a lot at the beginning of the season. Mm. When I mean that, I, I, when I say that, I mean that he did, he did a quite not great performance, mm -hmm. especially when you come back you know, with the big money he has, they both him and, mm. and the way that they present him, you know, the big talent ever in, in this period as a, as a defender with Van Dijk. I mean, you create a lot of expectation. Mm. You, you just think that everything has to be perfect. When something doesn't match with that, you know, you create rumors. But, but it's still an amazing talent. Mm. What, what changed, uh, as we mentioned, I mentioned it a little bit before, is this, the, the way that Italy used to defend. Mm. When I say Italy, you know, we, most of the time, we, we need the extra player in defense, you know, to cover yourself. Mm. And, uh, and, uh, and this is what not going on sometimes in Europe, you know, especially in England. You play one versus one in the, mm. in the defense, you don't need that. So the structure of the team, mm. and he play as well in a very organized team. Mm. So when you play in a very organized team, you know exactly before things happen what to do mm. and what mm. could happen mm. as well. So you, you can think before and make the action mm. straight away. Now we need to adapt in a new system a little bit, and this is why takes some time to him to figure it out the position and the role. But yeah, Juve, we go with him, of course, and then you know injury can happen. But I think it will be it will be okay. But these kinds of investments were made with one trophy in mind: the Champions League, as, as we'd mentioned before. Manchester City are the bookies' favourites, certainly the, the bookies in England. Who do you think has the best chance of winning? Where's your money going on on the Champions League? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my money go to the rest. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, yeah. <laughs> but if I have extra money, okay. okay. <laughs> well, I still believe that Man City can have really a chance. I mean, it's already years that they are mm. close by, and for mm. some reason, VAR one time, VAR the next year yeah. as well, it didn't happen. But it's really, really tough. Uh, I, I think we will have a. A great idea after the next round. Mm. What happened the next round would be. Yeah. Everybody can have a great idea because it's there is a, a stop between what happened in the winter and now the, mm -hmm. the coming one, and uh, some changing market coaches. Some some of these changes, you know, ch you know, can make you better. Mm. But most of the time, nothing changed too much. Only Zidane came up during the season and mm -hmm. won the trophy so and uh, it's it's very difficult but mm. i'm saying that because when you come back after two months that you don't play the competition you will see which and which kind of energy is on the team mm -hmm. because on the other side liverpool still have a big chance from my point of view yeah because i love i love club mm. and the way that is manage the things and they still free to play but i think they will be 
kind of busy with the with the league. So where's your money going, Alessandro? Where? <laughs> city. City. Okay, so there we go. City. All right. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.